Hi, and welcome back. Today's strategy is another pattern provided by Michael Harris from his book on systematic trading. It was reported to provide around 74% in profit when backtested on historical data. And I backtested this pattern myself using Python on stocks such as the uh, Triple Q and the S&P 500. The results were positive with a win rate of around 65%. As usual, the Python code I'm using in this video is shared through a link in the description so you can download it and apply your own modifications and maybe improve this pattern strategy. The entry pattern is very simple and it follows a set of conditions. Let's focus on this candle, which is the last candle on our chart. For reference, we will call the previous candles position minus one and position minus two in reference with the position of the current candle. Now let's go through the conditions of trading. First, we need the high of the current candle to be greater than the closing price of the current candle, meaning we need to have the last candle with a somehow visible upper tail or an upper wick. Then the closing price of this last candle has to be greater than the high of the candle at position minus two and that's the second condition that we're going to apply in our trading for condition number three we need the high of the candle at position minus two to be higher than the high of the candle at position minus one to recap very quickly we need to have a wick of the last candle and we need that the closing price here is greater than the high of position minus two and the high of position minus two is greater than position minus one the high of position minus one so we have this kind of v-shape made by the uh, highs of these three candles. Condition number four, the high of position minus one is greater than the low of position minus two. And this one is kind of obvious, but we don't need to have any weird behaviors here. Then condition number five, we have the low of the current candle is greater than the low of position minus two. So we need to see this upward momentum with the current candle. And finally, the low of position minus two is greater than the low of position minus one. And since the middle candle here is presented as the lowest in between these two candles, the current candle and candle at position minus two. This pattern is nothing but the figure of a typical rejection that's shown on the high side and the low side of the candles. When this pattern occurs, we will enter the market with a long position at the opening price of the next candle. We can then set the stop loss and take profit as a percentage of the entry price. These are usually around 2% up to 6%. Okay, now we can code all of it in Python and run the backtest to confirm the potential of this pattern. This is our Jupyter Notebook file. The first function is going to read the CSV files from a folder because we're going to test this on multiple assets. I'm going to test it on the Forex and stocks, as I mentioned before. The second function, read data folder, is going to read the folders and it uses the previous function, read CSV to data frame, is going to read a whole folder of CSV files and returns a list of data frames with the names of the files as well. Then the uh, conditions that we have mentioned previously in this video are here defined in the total signal function, it takes a data frame, then it takes the current candle and it's going to apply all these conditions. It's going to test if we have a pattern to enter the market. If we have a pattern, we return two. This is a long position. The uh, symmetrical conditions are made for the uh, short positions, so we have to return one in this case. So I'm not going through the details, it's just the symmetrical conditions of this pattern. However, as reported by Michael Harris in his book, this is a long only strategy. This is a long only uh, pattern. So I just made the uh, short part for reference. We're not going to use it for the back test now. And we're adding the uh, total signal to the data frame as a new column. So we have our signal when to enter at which row we can enter the market. I'm um, adding point positions where we have signals. This will help us to visualize these signals on a chart right here. So these are the positions of those purple points just to visualize the signals that we are generating. This one is a good one, as you can see. So the code is working perfectly fine. We have a pattern here. This is a typical V rejection. And we can see how the price acquired an upward momentum straight afterwards. Of course, sometimes it works better than others and sometimes it doesn't work at all like this signal here. It's kind of a fake signal. If we would enter the market, I think we would have been stopped before any take profit. And the last function I'm going to use is plot candlesticks. It's just to plot the chart and the uh, signals that we have just visualized. So now we can start using these functions. I'm going to load from the data stocks folder. I have three CSVs there, the VIX, the um, triple Q and an S&P 500 CSVs. And for each of these files, we're going to create a data frame and for each of the data frames in the list of data frames, we're going to apply the add total signal and the add 
point position column to be able to visualize any of these data frames. When this is done, I'm just doing a total count on the total signals that we have generated in all the data frames, and we have 104 signals. We're just focusing here on the long positions, so I'm discarding this, these signals, and those no signals here. We can visualize the charts with the signals choosing one of the data frames from the list and the starting index and the number of rows to visualize after the uh, start index. Now we can move on to the back testing. As you can see, I've commented the part where we're going short. So I just put it here for reference. It's mainly to verify what the author has reported over 70% win rate. So we're going and a profit actually above 70%. So we're going to test this. And here I'm using 10% of the equity as the size of the uh, the trades, a 4% a stop loss as a starting stop loss distance and 2% take profit percentage uh, distance. So these are going to be optimized. We're not going to take actually 2 and 4% because we're going to modify these in a certain range, within a certain range, while we're optimizing the strategy. And this part is very simple. So if we have a bullish signal, signal is equal to 2, and we don't have any open trades on the market, we're going to uh, define our stop loss distance, the take profit distance using the percentages of the current price. And then we're going to apply a buy position using the size, the stop loss and a take profit. And now we're going to loop over all the data frames in the list of data frames. We're going to apply the uh, back test. Here I'm just setting some parameters. So cash $5,000 as a start, a margin one over five and a small commission to uh, account for the spread at least. Then we're going to optimize changing the stop loss and take profit percentages to see which combination provides the best results just to test the maximum potential of such an entry pattern or such a strategy. Then we're going to maximize the return percentage and we're going to append the results in two lists, the uh, results list and also the heat maps list as well. When we run the back test, we can aggregate the results of the different data frames. This is uh, useful when you are intending to run the strategy on multiple assets at the same time, so you can get the aggregated results uh, all together. So we have an aggregated returns of 71%, number of trades 78, maximum drawdown of minus 11%, and an average drawdown of minus 1.39%, and a good win rate of 65%. The last two cells are to plot the equities and as you can see for the stocks it's going rather well for the S&P 500, the uh, triple Q as well, the VIX is not doing well with this strategy and I've added a small part that shows the uh, different return percentages versus the different combinations of stop loss percentage and take profit percentage since these are the only two parameters that we are optimizing and modifying. We're not optimizing the uh, indicators in any sort. This is a typical pattern that we are applying as is and this is good because there's no risk of overfitting in this case we're not fitting any indicators we're just changing the uh, trade management part so the stop loss percentage and the take profit percentage so the entry signals are excellent however we need to know how to manage the trades afterwards and this is made clearer using these two um, these two parameters and as you can see any parameters you take any combination it's going to yield a positive return at the end however some areas are higher than others now you might think that this works because we took a long only uh, positions and on stocks that are actually climbing and you're right and this is what michael harris did in his book so i decided that we can try this on the forex actually and since i have some Forex CSV files, I'm going to just switch the data folder from data stocks to data Forex here. And I'm going to run this again. And um, we're going to run the uh, back test and the optimization as well. We're going to take a look at the results. So these are the Forex results. We can see that the uh, GBP US dollar is working well. It's working also well at the end for the US dollar Japanese yen. The gold and the rest are not very impressive, although they are showing a bit of uh, profit, the uh, blue line, which is the Australian US dollar and so on. So, but in total, we still have an aggregated returns of 27%, a total number of trades of 92, that's not much, a maximum drawdown of minus 7% and an average drawdown of minus 1%. A win rate that's still good, in my opinion, 55%. So it's still kind of working, not very much for some of the assets. For the gold, for example, it's not going well. 
but we can maybe filter some of the assets where it's working and keep these for future trading. And this is all I had to tell you for this one. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you for staying that long. Until our next one, trade safe and see you next time.